Hey everyone, Cody here with Green Craft Project. Today I'll be talking about thoracic extension and how it's important when we carry out overhead activities, as well as when we lack thoracic extension, it can lead to compensations in pain in certain areas. So when we look at thoracic extension, there isn't a whole lot of range of motion with thoracic extension, but we need to be able to stabilize as we carry out some of these activities. So if we're looking from the side, there's this normal kyphotic curve, or just meaning that there's a normal curve to our spine anteriorly like this. Um, and if we can get into thoracic extension, this helps improve shoulder function as we reach overhead. When we get into thoracic extension and look at overhead reaching, the scapula tilts upwardly, allowing more room for the glenohumeral joint. So if we were to sit like this in thoracic flexion and try to reach overhead, it can be very difficult. If we can get into thoracic extension in a better postural position, that allows the scapula to upwardly rotate, and then we are able to get overhead easier. For our assessment today, we're going to use the dowel and look at an overhead squat. So from the side, we want to see that dowel overhead, good athletic position, and then as the patient gets down to that squat, can they maintain thoracic extension? Here, uh, compensation would look like the bar coming forward, and then a little bit of flexion in the thoracic squat. That would be one way to assess for thoracic extension if we can stabilize through an overhead movement. There is other things to look at with the overhead squat, such as core stability, how the knees are tracking, those type of things. But for today, we're going to hone in on thoracic extension. Another assessment we can do is have a patient lay face down and see if they can go into the thoracic extension from this position, uh, placing their arms behind their back, and we just want to see them press up and see if they can functionally get into thoracic extension. So, ways to improve thoracic extension, we can adjust in the thoracic spine, um, and then as well as using the foam roller to improve passive thoracic extension. Also, we can do a couch stretch, so we'd be having the patient here, elbows up on this box like this, and the back of the head, and then just allowing that chest to sink down, and we want most of the range of motion to come from this area here. This is another way to passively improve thoracic extension. Also, actively, we can do a dead bug with T's and Y's using the TheraBand. So we'll have the patient lay on their back here, cross this band underneath, get into that dead bug position here, we're gonna cross the band again, and we wanna make sure that pelvis and rib cage is tucked, pushing that low back into the floor, breathing in that abdomen, and then we're just gonna go through and do T's and Y's to help functionally promote thoracic extension. These are some ways to improve thoracic extension. Then we can go back in to the overhead assessment using the dowel and see if the patient can stabilize through thoracic extension. Thank you.